write it in the light of ancient Greece or in the ancient light of this mountain or write it in the shadows of the myths or in the shadow of the people who made them. I do not know that I have the right to say such things. I only know I must. I found her in the cold light of fingers. My mother called to a fetal question in the backyard. The stars were glittering eyes in the night. The grass was rhymed with frost and crunched underfoot. Thinking how ill clad she was for the night that was in it. Her brushed nylon pajamas, her thin bare feet. Ill shot. Not a sound to be heard in the sleeping estate. Far off a dog, then another. A car starting up, the engine having trouble catching. I had woken from a dream of summer. My first lover to shouts and doors banging. I had woken to my father calling out my mother's name again and again. And dear sweet Jesus, oh Christ. The downstairs windows were all open wide. Brought the frosty air inside. You could still smell gas. I found her with her head in the oven. I dragged her outside, was all he said. Then and ever after, as if to allay accusation or set his own story straight or give the only facts worth recording. He was not a man for elaborations. Stoic or cynic. To this day, I'm still in doubt. Laconic, for sure. Though far from ancient Sparta, he was reared. He would have fitted in. We thought she was dead. Her feet were like ice in my hands. Were it not for the night that was in it, we might have missed our breath. The thin reed of it rising, her sad tune to the air. Proof positive she was still there. We carried her in between us, my father and I. Never again that close or complicit. Never again the same as we were. The doctor when she came was drunk and worse than useless. Prescribed more sleepers and downers. Pocketed her fee and stumbled towards our car. The sun was coming up. The children were whinging for their breakfasts. The older ones were rushing off to school. And that is how I leave them now. I pull the door behind me, firmly closed. The past is a lonely country. There are no charts, no maps. All you read is hearsay. As remote as this Greek island, where one small boat put us out to sea in a blaze of morning sunlight, dragging my attention in its wake.